Argentina is a very interesting site for lithium development, mainly because it hosts big resources in terms of brine, lithium brines. Uh, lithium from brine has a low operating cost, so the production could be very economic. There was some history of exploration and development in the, in the salars hosting the lithium brine in Argentina. This makes it more interesting. And there are two current producers of lithium in Argentina. One is FMC, Minera del Altiplano, in Catamarca and Salta. And the other one is Oro Cobre, Sales de Jujuy, in Jujuy. We started in LSE in a consolidation exercise, trying to focus and, and develop the ground where we wanted our projects to develop. Then we moved into an exploration exercise where we are at the moment, in order to identify how much lithium do we have in the ground in the different places. And then we move into a project phase where we try to identify which is the best production system that will suit the different area, the different core areas that we have. To do that, we focus highly on an understanding of the resources where we are working and uh, developing a sustainable and rational production system in each one of those brine resources. The main milestones that the LSE achieved in 2018 were uh, the publishing two resources, one in Pozuelos Salar for 1.8 million tons LCE, one in Rio Grande Salar for 2.2 million tons LCE. We are working at the moment towards the, the, our next milestones, which uh, include the, the development and uh, publishing of a PEA, a Preliminary Economic Assessment, for our Pozuelos Pastos Grandes system before the end of the year. Welcome Mining Scout! You are here in the Puna region of Argentina at 3,800 meters above sea level. We are currently in the first of three salars which we will visit, all of them owned by LSC Lithium. This salar is called Pastos Grandes and we own about 50% of it. Later we will go to Pozuelos and finally tomorrow Salinas Grandes. We have two types of salars. We have this one here, Pastos Grande, which is an immature salar, which can be recognized by its white features. We also have mature salars at Pozuelos, which are more brown and rugged, like the Salar Atacama, which SQM currently mines. Both salars host lithium, and we believe that the combination of Pastos Grandes and Pozuelos will create maximum value in a future operation. We have an existing resource declared at Pozuelos, but we believe it is open at depth. Here at Pastos Grandes, we are still busy with the drilling operations and we've identified mineralization down to 200 meters. Here we have a, a core sample of the hole of a section of evaporitic section where, where we can see the halite. This is compact halite. This is more granular halite. And, and the quality of porosity is better in this granular, where the, the visual porosity is higher. We've just started the PEA on Pastos Grandes and Pozuelos, which we regard to be one collective development and which will be able to produce 20,000 tons a year of lithium carbonate. 
We have not yet got a capital estimate, but we internally estimate it to be in the order of 300 to 350 million dollars. This year, the PEA with associated expiration will require an expenditure of about five million dollars with the pre-feasibility completed by the middle of next year. Here we are in the Sala Pusuelos, where we are currently building a 40-man exploration camp. The plan is to use the same camp for operations in the future. Pusuelos will be the host of the evaporation ponds, both for the Pastos Grandes and the Pusuelos projects. Ponds are the conventional method of producing lithium from brine. The evaporation rates here in the Puna are excellent and they lead to good concentration. Other companies already operate in the Puna and have proven this. For instance, Orocobre, who have an operation of 15,000 tons per annum of lithium carbonate, and they're currently expanding this operation. At Salinas Grandes, we are very excited because not only do we have surface mineralization at very high grades, but we believe that the deposit is open at depth and has significant upside in resource. Argentina is quite developed country with uh, industry development as well. Uh, it has a history of strong middle class and uh, well prepared people. So you can find uh, highly educated professionals here. Uh, specifically at this moment, Argentina is going through a very interesting moment for investment because the, the current government is uh, started to set uh, the, the right uh, framework for international investment to come to Argentina. Specifically, lithium is a very interesting uh, area to invest in and the federal government and the provincial governments are very interested and welcoming investors to develop this resource.